Hi, I'm Johnson, uh, Wes Johnson, President of Johnson Hand Controls. And today I'm going to show you how to utilize our patented clamshell mounting system for crossovers. This will fit almost any crossover in the market. If you ever have a doubt, pick up the phone and call me. All right, so turn signal arms are not, are not round. People think they are, but they aren't. Okay, because of that, other crossovers in the market use either a hose clamp or a pipe ended clamp, and with use, they'll take they'll move down the shaft. We come up with a better idea. It's comprised of the two two sides of the clamshell, two set screws for, for mounting, a height adjustment screw, and two bottom set screws. This is the way it works. Put it on the arm. Now I did initially, normally I would mount this out here toward the, toward the end of the arm. You don't want to mount over top of any controls, but it gives better leverage for when you're using the crossover. But we're going to mount it down here where it's real tapered. So what we got to do, you put her in there, take your hand. This is a 3 16th Allen wrench, same down there, and a 1 8th. Those are the two you need. Okay, first thing you do is tighten up the outside cap screw. Okay, you don't have to twist it off. You just tighten that, tighten it up. Then you tighten up the inside set screw at the bottom. Okay, you take this, you screw this in until you feel the contact, and then about a quarter turn is all you really need to hold it in place. Now you don't, don't this way you limit any kind of damage you do. Now at this point, I want you to look at this signal arm. You see, this is tight at the top, but at the bottom there's a big gap. Again, like I said, they're not round. Okay, now I'm going to screw this. Uh, I'm going to screw. Uh, now I'm going to, to, to screw in the height adjustment screw. And if you watch this, as I screw this down here, you'll start shifting that arm up to where you see that uh, sort of spacing starts to become more uh, about the same. You want to try to get this relatively perpendicular to the arm. Okay. One thing I didn't tell you is that when you're putting this on, you want this about five degrees forward off center because of this turn, turn signal arm going across the steering wheel. Not a big thing, but it's something you need to know. Okay, I've got that tightened. I got that adjusted. Now I'll tighten the inside bottom screw. Again, contact about a quarter turn and then tighten this inside one. Now this is going to be is going to be difficult to turn in. It's not real easy because it's in, it's got a twist going on in that in the assembly. It doesn't need to go all the way in. Just bring her down to where the bolt is about level with the the mounting because it actually goes inside that realistically. But. And that's how you mount it. Uh, the continuation of this video will show the arm. And I'll explain the things, the idiosyncrasies of that. Any of the other uh, items you look at, this video will be the same. So if you watch this one, you can fast forward through some of the others. All right. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to mount the crossover arm. You notice the design of the crossover arm. It comes up and then back down. I designed it that way for a purpose. When you install this, some, some people just use a cross straight arm or they're blocking the dash panel. 
Yeah, maybe you miss a warning light, maybe you miss something, but this way, this comes up and over, your dash panel is clear to see. And this comes over to the side. Real simple to do it. Put it in there. I can get my eyeballs to work here. And you just do it again. At the beginning, you tighten it up. Now this one, you can tighten it further, but initially, just tighten it up. A little snug to where it's not gonna move out of your way. If you're putting this on for an individual, for somebody else, or you're an evaluator or a dealer, this is very critical, this, this section here. People, do when they drive, the left hand, they normally take their fingers and turn the turn signal up and down. But on their right hand, they're used to grabbing the gear shift knob. So they're going to grab this and want to pull it while they're going to what are their signals. That'll put a stress inside here, and eventually it will break loose because this is a T T61 uh, aluminum, it's strong, but it is malleable, and so they'll damage it. So what I recommend you do, at this point, put the person behind the wheel, have them put their hand on the steering wheel, and if their fingers should just come out to the fingertip, the pad, not the, not the joint, the pad. Have them try to go out as far as they can with their hand on the steering wheel, to activate it. One finger, will to, one finger will do it and that way it won't uh, damage the rod. It's gonna, you're going to have to train the user. Just, all right. So once you've got this set for them, okay, we're going to go back to this and we're going to take it back out. Now, if you look at here, you'll see there's a mark from that rod, from that set screw. That tells you where it's supposed to be at. If you want, take a file or a grinder and just put a little flat spot there. Because that way, if they ever get in there and they don't pay attention and they pull it loose, you, can, you have a reference point to go back to put it at and it should be able to tighten back up again. Uh, this has a Healy coil thread in it, so you're not going to break it when you tighten it, I guarantee you. Uh, that's everything there is about the, the uh, basic crossover. Uh, again, ever have any problems, give me a call.